said we're going to seek medical attention. They just had their first rain of the monsoon here. There's a massive lake here at Jesselmer. Massive lake. It's got like buildings in the middle of it. I don't really know too much about it. But yeah, this this lake was actually the only major water source for the people that live here for years and years. We might go on a boat. The only problem is it's very, very hot. And I don't know how long you're out there for. I think they said half an hour. Half an hour, it's probably all right. We've got a little bit of water. Right, I'm gonna go see how much a boat is to go out on the lake. Hopefully they tell us a little bit about it because it looks quite interesting. You've got all these random structures in the middle of the lake. Um, not sure even how this lake was formed in the first place because we're right in the middle of the desert like you would imagine this would be some sort of mirage it's not real but I've touched it and it is real it's real guys and as you can see it's really hot today <laughs> ah and the tango I'm only joking I always go like a tomato <laughs> alright let's go and see how much this boat is Okay, oh. if you want a boat, that is like a it is 300 rupees for half an hour, which is fine. The problem is, it is over 40 degrees here, and it is a pedal boat. Well, I don't want to be out there pedaling for shit. That's the last thing I want to do. That is the last thing that wants to do. So, what we're going to do instead is. Back to the hotel. We're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually just look it up myself because not, there's not actually anyone here that really speaks English so far. I've spoken to so far, and I've spoken to a few people. But hello, England. All right, there is somebody who speaks English. We've just been talking to him for a good 20 minutes. He's a, uh, he 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 works from half five in the morning till half ten at night every single day. He says he makes most of his money from wedding shoots because they get a lot of people who come here and want a little photo shoot on the uh, lake at crack of dawn. So he's here from then. Yeah, and, he's, and he was talking about drone shots, how they're not allowed to fly drones here, but what he does is he hires somebody to come here real early and then people pay it even more for the drone shots. And he says it's very popular, so. Very interesting talking to that guy. He said it, up in the fort, people are living in there still. And it's free to get in, but there's a palace up there. You want to pay to get in there, you can. But he said the uh yeah there's restaurants cafes everything up there so we're just gonna go up there now and have a look the, the lake's pretty cool i don't know anything about it i'm gonna have to just look into it myself um but it's quite interesting but they don't do like a informational boat ride it's just like now he he's he's the organizer yeah he ain't he he just said he's the organizer or if you want to go early morning for wedding photos and stuff he does that that's why he's there all the time. Yeah, off to the fort. So, Jesselmere, I think if you're gonna come here, you should get a hotel that's a nice hotel. I, I wouldn't slum it here. Only because through the middle of the day, from 11 until, well, it's now <clears throat> half past five and it's still really hot. There is not really anything going on. It might be because it's low season as well. Obviously, in the high season, it's going to be a bit cooler. You could probably just stay where you want. But if you are going to come here during the high season, I would just get a decent hotel because you're going to need somewhere to chill throughout the hot hours of the day because it's so hot. Uh, and there's not really anybody out. There's a really nice... Thank you. There's a really nice atmosphere here in the evening where everyone comes out and sort of has a bit of free time. Whereas during the day, everyone's like sleeping and staying indoors and staying in the shade, which rightly so because it's ridiculous hello hello what the hell oh, fuck the street dogs just bit that <laughs> you actually just got bitten by a street dog. Right, let me, like, come in the shade, come in the shade, let me see. Well, wow. yeah, well, well, let me see, let me see. Oh. 
Yeah. Right, we're going to seek medical attention. We were just walking along, there was a female in front of us, and then that screams, I turn around, and there's another, there's a male dog there who's bitter in the back of the leg. And I've ended up having a standoff with the dog. I was gonna hit him with the action camera. Oh, yeah, and then some other Indian came over and helped with a rock. Yeah. Now we're going to the hospital. Hopefully she ain't got rabies. The dog wasn't, the thing is the dog wasn't attacking because he's like deranged with rabies. He was attacking because he thought we were after the female, so he just thinks he's a big boy. But he ran away though, didn't he, eh? I showed him. <laughs> it's tough shit. He ain't got a choice. Be fine. Right, because it's Sunday, the doctors were not open, so we've had to come to the government hospital. Uh, yeah, see what happens. Afterwards, later. Right. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I suppose we better get back to the hotel then and. Uh, Give you a give you a give you a wash. <laughs> nah, don't put nothing on it. He just, he just said rinse it for five minutes. All right, back to the hotel room. Well, that was eventful. That hospital was better than the UK hospitals. We were in and out in three minutes. They just said what you're going to need to do is have a tetanus shot right now, uh, and then you need to have your rabies shots. You have to have five rabies shots, <laughs> one tomorrow morning. One in three days, one in seven days, one in 14 and one in 28 days. So yeah, she's gonna have to keep going back to her doctors and get your shots. Oh my, ridiculous. They were actually really good in the hospital. The tuk-tuk driver was a legend as well. He proper helped us out, went to the window, made sure we went to the right places. I wouldn't have had a clue where to go in the hospital. There's, we couldn't read any signs there or anything. We didn't have to pay anything either. I don't know if it's because we're from England, but they didn't even really ask. They just We just went in there and said she'd been bitten by a dog what's the deal and they just went over and came back with a needle and so get <laughs> lay down <laughs> straight in a buttock I'm laughing about it it could have been bad it could have been really bad luckily the dog only pinched her skin but yeah he was, was he was aggressive he was it's lucky I was there really it's lucky I was there with my camera I was, I'm an actual actual animal lover so I, it's not something I would like to do but if he came at me he was going to get it well we didn't go and explore the fort I suppose we'll have to do that tomorrow. It's all right, it's, it's too hot out there anyway. To be honest, it's six o'clock, right? It's still proper hot out there. So I don't even know what we're gonna do about dinner now because we're, we're back here and I'm not getting food here. It's well expensive. It's like 1,800 rupees per person for dinner here. It is a buffet, but nah, don't know what I'm gonna do yet. We need to have a little chat, but she needs to run it under cold water for five to, five to 10 minutes. No, not cold, not cold water. Just run it underwater for five to 10 minutes. It's the thing with traveling, you'd never know what's around the next corner. You're just walking down the street, mind your own business, and the dog comes over and bites you on the ass. Oh, mate, nightmare. Okay, it is half past six on our final night. And Natalia's been resting her dog wound all day. And we're finally, finally gonna go and check out this fort. The ultimate stare down, and I always lose. I move out of the way, girl, don't worry. Wow! There are people fully living up in that fort as well. It's a full on community up there. I just need to get up there. There's a huge wall around the outside, obviously up on this hill. We need to find the way in. Google Maps said this way, but obviously was wrong. We got to go, we've got to go all the way around. We have gone the completely wrong way. The entrance to the fort is on the north side. We've had to go all the way around. 
And it's not small either, it's a big place. Finally at the entrance. Wow. Namaste. Namaste. Pretty good, how are you? Yes, namaste guys. Namaste. It's like what you would proper expect an old school fort to look like the people still living. I feel like I'm on the set of Game of Thrones. Now this fort is completely free to enter. Obviously it's not like the others. It's not necessarily a tourist site. It's actually a, a, an area where a community still lives. And it's the only one that, I think this is the only one that a community still lives in, right? I'm sure that's what I heard. There's actually 5,500 people still living here. All right, we've just been stopped by someone. He wants us to go and see the view from his place, from his cafe. He was just on his way out. He says there's no tourists here, so he was gonna leave, but. We'll go and have a look. Why not? See if he survives the stairs. God damn it, man. Gotta stop chewing them fucking leaves, boys. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. You see, nice view. Yeah, this dude's actually got a really nice view from his place. This guy's got an awesome view from his place. All the all the temple peaks you can see, it's pretty cool. Look at that sunset. Crazy. It's a good view of the place as well, isn't it really? Yeah. Don't ask me how we got here because I don't know, all right? It's like amazing in that fort, seriously. We got lost a couple of times, a couple of dead ends. Uh, there's quite a lot of restaurants and cafes in there, definitely a lot. We're in off season at the moment and there's not really anywhere open now. A lot of the restaurants have a viewpoint on top, a rooftop, um, a lot of seat seating area, so you can have a real good view, but this is good enough. Oh shit, look at the size of that beef thing. Look at it. Oh, mate. Oh no, they're all drinking. They're red bees, they're not normal bees. Nat thinks they're hornets, I don't know. I think they're bees, they're, they're big bees and they're red. Okay, look at this, this is sick. You can walk around the outside. Like back, like, this is literally like Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings. You know, when they're around the edges of the castle with their bow and arrow, wait, ready to slaughter anyone who comes near the, car, the, the, the perimeter. Nat, you forgot your bow and arrow. I don't have to pay to get in here. I'm loving that. A guide for here would probably be probably be cool because it's pretty impressive, and I, I kind of want to know why people choose to still live in here. I mean, it's pretty cool. I can see why they choose to live in here, but why are they not living in any others? Why only this one? When I say set of a movie, right? Check these out. Look at these, old school steps. There's even some missing. How cool is that? I've never seen that before. It's sick. Look at this, look, all open drain drainage ways, like proper old school, how you'd imagine it, you know, when people were throwing like their piss out the window and that. All right, we just met a Hindu lady back there who was actually willing to talk to us. 
they don't not not very talkative and she actually said why it's because they wear the sari to show people that they are either married or looking to marry and if they wear the sari with their belly showing it means they are married and then no men will talk to them whereas if they are looking for a, a partner their belly will not be showing until they're married very interesting i did not know that about the culture here she also said that if somebody is wearing a dark blue black or white sari basically not a colorful one it means that she's a widow and and once you're a widow you're not to remarry did not know that i didn't know any of this very interesting also if you see a lady with a nose ring and a bindi and, and a bindi and the red through there on their scalp it means they're married as well crazy and if you if you have all that then other men won't talk to you but if you don't have that then they probably will she was telling us all about how it's like a real traditional culture here where the where people the families want men want boys they don't want girls so the doctors can't can no longer tell you in this country if you're going to have a boy or a girl because if they say girl then they would the family will likely take the pills to kill the baby Fucking insane mate i didn't know all that things that sort of stuff still happened here she was telling us about how or that a lot of the women here are not educated that's why and and they're not allowed to do certain jobs which is why when you're in restaurants you never see a woman cooking although women are extremely good at cooking because they, they're not allowed to do these jobs in the public eye it's pretty mad even though in this country that is actually their role in the household they'd be very good at it they're still not allowed to do it for a profession very interesting it was a really interesting conversation we were with her for a while I didn't really film her because I didn't have the proper camera with me. I felt a bit rude putting my phone in her face. Okay, this is not the place I thought we were going to, but Natalia's not feeling well from a rabies injection earlier. So I'm having a Rajasthani Tali, 350 rupees this was. So it's going to be the cheapest night yet. Natalia doesn't want anything. Like the problem with getting a tali like this is I don't know what the dishes are. So like I can tell you, show you, I'm tasting something, but you don't know what it is. Basically, the Rajasthani tali is quite nice. They're all spicy. Middle one spicy, yes. I don't know, it's weird. Some dishes on here I've never seen before. Mm, nice, don't know what the fuck that is. It's good though. For those of you who don't know, Tali is basically just a, an assortment of dishes from a certain area or region. And you can basically just taste, taste a few ways they cook their meals here. But yeah, I don't know what any of the dishes are called, so that's the problem with getting a Tali. But this is very tasty. Rajasthani Tali. Give it a go while you're in Rajasthan. Oh, the, the food in there is really good. That Rajasthani uh, Tali was nice. I actually liked every single dish as well. That's the only thing with getting Tali is, is that a lot of the time there's a couple of dishes on there that I don't really like too much. I eat them anyway, but they're not really that enjoyable to eat sometimes. But that Rajasthani Tali, I liked every single dish on there. It was well nice. And the good thing about that restaurant is they don't charge you extra at the end. They don't add on the GST and all that sort of stuff on at the end. Usually, you usually, no, no thanks. Nay, nay. <coughs> uh, yeah, the, the, the good thing about there is they don't add the taxes and all that on. They do, usually when you go to a restaurant here, you pay the extra sort of 5% taxes at the end, plus a service charge as well. In there, the price you see on the thing is what you pay. So uh, the water was 25. Usually in a restaurant it's 30 rupees. And the the meal itself was 350. Atali is always really good value for money. You get a lot of food for not so much money um, getting Atali, but I like it. It was very good in there. That was, I'd recommend, that's a place I'd recommend to go to as well. I haven't had a bad meal. It's so hard to find bad food here, honestly. Oh, mate, they just had their first rain of the monsoon here. <laughs> oh, 
I can't believe how flooded it is. Our tuk tuk's meant to be coming to get us. But I don't know if he's even going to be able to go in this. We're just going to walk down now. <laughs> wow. Now the army's here. Coming off the, it's all coming off the, uh, the field. <laughs> Mate, it's lit. It looks like a river. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't give a fuck. That's so cool. bus now it's gonna take 18 hours this guy's just picked us up on the jet ski <laughs> I'm glad I'm sitting this side <laughs> 